everyone, this is Arlene. I'm here today to share a project for I Am Roses, and this is part of the May I Am Roses color challenge. And this month's challenge is to use purple um, or teal or turquoise in your project and at minimum two I Am Roses products. And I will have the link below to the I Am Roses blog post where the details are for this month's challenge. So I decided to create a card and just so you guys know in advance, I am not used to using uh, purple flowers. Purple is just not my uh, favorite color. <laughs> so I don't use a lot of purple in my projects. So anyways, I wanted to share a card I created um, using a pack of purple uh, roses that I have. Actually, a couple packs of purple roses that I have. And this is a Mother's Day card uh, that I created for my mom. And... Uh, had a lot of fun, you guys, creating this card, um, and it was pretty, uh, pretty simple to do. And I'll kind of talk through it. I didn't do a, a tutorial video on this particular one, uh, but on the background here, you will see um, some paper. And hold on, let me. Grab and it's it. actually not paper; it's fabric, and it's called fabric paper. And this is by DCWV. Um, but I use this uh, collection right here. You can actually see through the acetate. But I use this paper right here. And it's adhesive, so what I did is I cut it with my trimmer, and I removed the backing. And as I laid the paper back there, I kind of crinkled it so it wasn't on there like smoothly. So I just kind of like ruffled it up a little bit. And then this lace back here is from Hobby Lobby. I added some pearls here from Re uh, Recollections. And then these doilies back here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, these are my two new favorites, and these are by... Um, Cherry Lynn Designs, and this one is called Sophia's Heart, and I showed these on a product video. And this one here is called French Doily. I think it's called French Doily. I'll put the name down below just to be sure. So anyways, those are the two doilies that I have here, and they're just layered on top of each other, and I cut them out with really um, like 65 pound weight white cardstock and really um, fun. And this heart right here is from a pack from Michaels. So the pack looks like this, and these are embossed chipboard pieces, and it's from the dollar section, which is really nice. So they had butterflies and hearts and whatnot in it, so I just took one of the hearts, and I took some white acrylic paint and my finger, and I just rubbed lightly onto the embossing, and I really love how that came out, just really fun. And then here's more Recollections Bling. And this sentiment here comes from a Flourishes stamp set, um, and it's this one here. It's a Mother's Day stamp set, and I really love this. I got this last year, and it has some really nice uh, sentiments for Mother's Day on here. And this is called Motherly Love, and it's a set of seven stamps. Okay, so that's my sentiment. And then I cut it out with my Spellbinders die, and then I layered it on top of a larger version of the Spellbinders die um, that I used, and I cut out the fabric paper again in that shape, and then I pop the sentiment up on that. And then you'll see a whole bunch of I Am Roses products that I used here. Um, first, this Flourish. Oh, you guys love it. It's called the Fanciful Flourish. It's also by um, Cherry, Cherry Lynn Designs. And here are my I Am Roses flowers, and I sprayed them all with Scintillating Silver, which is my favorite by Lindy Stamp Gang. Uh, it's a Glitz Spritz. And so this flower right here, and it looks kind of pink, but it's not. It comes from a purple pack. And um, this is the purple pack that I got it from. And it's R40. And it comes with the purple and white combo and then the white. And then these two little flowers down here, these are R21s, and they came from this purple pack. And these are from this set and this set. So they're two different ones. And I love these combo sets because you get different colors and different uh, textures of, uh, you know, the way they look when they have multiple colors. But those are from that purple pack, and this is R21. And then you'll see that I have the crocheted flowers with pearl, and this is that right there, ZJC3-152. And so I added one here, over here, and one over there. And then I added a little bird from Carla's Etsy. And then I tucked in some little mini uh, rosebuds on there. The code is T1151 and these are the mini rosebuds. So really fun. I love these as fillers and just accents when you're uh, you know putting a, a bunch of flowers down. It's really fun. This right here is one of those recollections uh, 
embellishments from their new collection. I really love these. They remind me of the uh, Prima Shabby Chic Treasures, but these are brown um, or more antique-ish looking. And what I did is I took the white acrylic paint again in my finger and I rubbed white acrylic paint on there so that it wouldn't be so brown on this on this white card. Um, so that is my card and the inside's really simple. I just took a doily and just put Happy Mother's Day in there. And so that is my card. So check out the I Am Roses challenge blog for information on how to participate in this challenge and win yourself some I Am Roses goodies. And uh, visit my blog for more information about this project. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.